look like we have a barricaded person with a suspect allegedly broke into his girl ex-girlfriend's home, uh, assaulted her. I'm not sure if you have any weapons or not. Were y'all living together? No. We haven't lived with him since before she was even born. Okay. Were you at the house? He came and knocked on the door. I wouldn't let him in because he's not supposed to be there. Okay. So what ended up happening was uh, he went to the front door, rear door. She wouldn't let him in either way. And he actually ended up crawling in through a dog door and made it inside the house. Fight started. Uh, she tried to call 911. I pulled the phone out of my hand, yanked it out of the wall, yanked the other phone out of the wall. At that point, I grabbed her up, left the house, and went up to the neighbor's house to call oh, Okay. Does he have any guns in there? Anything that could hurt us? Okay. This is a gas, uh, gas gun. You'll be our gas person back in the back. Okay. Also have uh, the gas pack in case we have to induce tear gas in the residence. <laughs> We understand there's one more phone that is still working that he didn't rip out. Hello? You there? I don't know if he heard me or not, but the, the phone disconnected. I hadn't seen anything from the suspect or heard anything or hadn't seen any movement. I'm trying to loud hail him from the APC, seeing if we can get a response out of him. This is Dallas Police Department SWAT. We have a house completely surrounded. We just want you to come outside and surrender and talk to us. We've been out here for a long time. When he talks to you about his daughter, how does he view her, his daughter? Okay, so it seems like he's a pretty good dad when he is around. Thank you very much. Bye bye. We know you care about your daughter. Come outside so you can see her. If we have to come inside, you will not have the opportunity to see your daughter. Let's go ahead and end this. We're not going anywhere. You come outside and talk. Right now, we're getting a throw phone set up. Misty, would be less lethal. 63, cover. We have an option of throwing a phone inside the location and uh, ringing it and through loud hailing, ask him to answer it. Yeah, there you go. You got it. In the back bedroom, there is a phone. If you pick it up, you can talk directly to us. We can hear your side of the story, so we can end this. Right now, it's a sit and wait. We just got to kind of wait and see if he picks up the phone. Pick up the phone. Time is running out. We've been here about four hours. I hadn't been able to contact the suspect via phone or just by the loud hail. I think the entry team is going to slow search the location now, taking one room at a time. You still have the opportunity to come outside the house on your own. Hang tight, hang tight, hold it. Okay, so I have an attic. How do I get into the attic? In the garage. Garage? Now they have to search the attic. Suspect may be hiding there. You ready? Basically, it's real dangerous because the first thing the suspect sees is your head. Mystery has been solved. He's not here. Ugh. I guess he can't fit through the dog door. Okay. One way to spend your Sunday. Oh, we didn't find anything. OK, so it's pretty much secure. <laughs> searched the attic, searched the crawl spaces, did primary and secondary search of the residence. Uh, the suspect apparently got out before patrol set up the perimeter, so it happens. Some weekend. Complaining got out. She's OK, so we're good. He'll be arrested sooner or later. The system is going to win. It just didn't win today.